What's up guys, welcome to the garage. Today's video is about this, which is the, uh, I can't even remember, uh, ZP1001496, something like that, I don't know. It's a cheap, one-tenth scale, uh, Land Rover Defender, crawler stroke trail truck. Unboxed and reviewed this, and there is a link to that just up here for you. Um, this video is about a few modifications I've made to it. Um, a couple of them are free. It won't cost you anything. So, out of the box of steering on this, it's pretty rubbish. Real easy mod to do is the steering arms here. Um, you can just get your Dremel out or get a file out and file them out. And it gives you a much better steering angle. So, freebie that one, won't cost you anything. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've drilled a hole in the back of the rim. Uh, so you can hear uh, you've now got uh, softer tyres with the uh, with the wheels sealed. The tyres are just the compound's not all that soft, but uh, now having that hole in the back, it allows these tyres to flex a little bit more. You can, if you want, I mean I've drilled into the rim, but you can vent the tyre by drilling a really neat small hole in the actual tyre. That'll stop it filling up with water and getting all heavy, but. Um, for what I needed, just a hole in the rim was fine. So that is the second mod, and that's the free one. So steering angle and softer top. Biggest improvement, though, is the suspension. The stock suspension on this thing is so stiff, uh, it's just pointless having it. Set of oil shocks. Uh, there's a link to the truck. There's a link to all the bits and pieces in the description, but the oil shocks are in the description. Now, I'll give a shout-out for these oil shocks. Um, to Franca, I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel below. He was the one that I saw uh, do the shock mod, so I knew which ones to buy. So check out his channel. He does a lot of these budget things as well. Where to get these oil shocks, and as you can see, uh, much softer. And look, if you look at the articulation there, you can see that makes a big difference to it. And that is the single best modification you can do to this. And they will cost you probably, I think it's less than $20 for a set of four. Stick what oil you want in. I've got a medium or a soft oil in there, I can't remember. Um, big difference. This thing is bouncing around everywhere on the stock ones, whereas this reduces that loads more. And then finally, I've upgraded the electronics to more hobby grade stuff. So we've got a quick run, um, 1060 ESC in there, which will run LiPo, um, run up to 3S LiPo. And I've got my own transmitter receiver. And you'll see I've added an ESS1 sound kit. I mean, you don't have to add this. This is about half the cost of the truck, actually, this. So uh, just something I added gives it a little bit more of that realistic uh, feel to it when it's chugging along with a... Uh, I think I've got a V8 in there at the moment, so sounds really good. Anyway, there's a closer look at them shocks. I can't remember what they're out of, actually. I don't know if they're a ZD racing one or not, but um, there's the shocks. With the change of the electronics, I did have to put a three-wire servo in there, uh, and the WPL C34 servo is a perfect fit. It's not the strongest, and that is something I'm going to change to get a stronger servo. Uh, that is probably the weakest point I've got on here is that servo, but the um, that size is perfect for it. And again, link for that in the description. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you next time. So we found a decent spot to give this a good run. Uh, not my chosen spot, not my favourite spot really for crawling, um, but. It looks pretty decent. There's definitely some fallen uh, trees and logs to get over. Um, so let's give it a go, see how the upgrades work. <laughs> easier to control you can really crawl it now nice and slowly um, and yeah a bit more power as well so running a 2s lipo nice and steady
this thing's got loads of power, um, definitely enough to push through most stuff. Um, and sounding good with that ESS1 sound kit. The new shocks make a massive difference to uh, how controllable it is when you're uh, crawling it with the softer suspension. Um, it just doesn't bounce around as much. 